My name is Eugene Panrutkovich. I'm the laptop screen doc. The name of the website is www.screensurgeons.com. And today we're going to replace a cracked screen on an HP Mini 110-3135DX netbook. Okay, uh, the tools we're going to need today, we have some tweezers an electronics screwdriver with a PH1 changeable bit and a smaller PH0 changeable bit and exacto blade and also some sort of plastic prying tool if you don't have anything that with a sharp plastic edge a guitar pick might work well or even a kitchen spreading knife might work well might, might work well Okay, uh, the first thing we need to do on this laptop is remove the battery. We will do that right now. Not too, not too hard, just slide the tabs and slide it out. Okay, now uh, for these laptops, they hide the model number. So you need to know the model number before you start anything so you can order the right screen and make sure that this is the right video for you. This one, it's especially hard to find. I had trouble searching for it, but I finally found it. If we look here, it says CUST model 110-3135DX. So that's what we're looking for. So HP mini laptops will have something like 110 or 210. So look for something like that. And it's in various places. Okay, the hardest part of this job is to get the plastic frame off. It doesn't have any screws around there, but you have to snap it off. So that's what we need, the plastic prying tool. So we're going to start by, look where the back joins the back, back frame joins the back. And we're going to use our plastic prying tool to gently go around and start snapping the taps. If you hear the snaps, that's a good thing. So gently go around, keep moving like so. Okay, try it this way. Keep snapping it off. Now, once you snapped it off on the outside, what I like to do next is use my fingernails to go front and front and start snapping the frame off the front. Okay, now we come to this part. We snap it off like so. And finally, we have to snap it off where the battery is. So we go with our plastic prying tool. And snap it off like so. So then, take your time on this. This part is not easy and it's kind of strenuous. So take your time on this. Try not to break anything. If you do, that's OK also. It's happened to me before. So the frame is almost off, and now the only things that we have to open up is the where the hinges are. There's a little snap, snap here, so we open this up. Let's close in on this, okay, and let's close in on this one too. Okay, so we open this up and see if we can get the frame off now. Okay, and almost there, and the frame is off. So once again, this is the hardest part of this whole project. The rest is fairly simple, so take your time. Okay, now that we see the screen, there's four screws that we have to loosen. And there's some screws 
on the side here where the screen is held to the frame. Actually, um, for this one, I think it's fairly easy just to get to the screws on the side of the screen that's holding the frame. So there's one right here. Let's close in. Two right here. So let's get those out. This is where that pH zero bit comes in handy. Okay, and then we use, once we loosen it, it's stuck in there because of the wire next to it. So we use the tweezers to remove it, well, we'll remove it later. Then let's go to the next screw up at the top. That one comes out fairly easily. Then we rotate it around. There's two screws here. Okay, the magnets, there's a little magnet right where my finger is. It's going to pull in the screw and the screwdriver, so you have to deal with that. So let's get the bottom one off. Okay, so the magnet trapped the screw. We take that off. And let's get this one off. Like so. Okay, so let's see if we can extract this last screw. You can now tilt the screen forward and it just pops out. Okay, real simple. So once the screen pops out, there's some tape that's holding the connector. We just have to remove this connector. Use your fingernails to gently peel off the tape like so and there's some adhesive on the back of the connector cable so gently lift that up and then just pull the connector out so there's only one connector and that's the screen so it's a 10.1 inch screen and um, there's usually typically a connector at the bottom left. So um, the part number for this one is M101NWT2. So if you do a Google search or eBay search on this part, it will turn up. As of early 2011, they run these screens run around fifty dollars each. Now this screen has a matte finish. Some of them come in a glossy finish and when you order it you can't they can't really tell you if they're gonna ship you a matte or a glossy one. So I think you're pretty much stuck with whatever they ship. Okay, and um to put the screen back in, it's real easy. Just reconnect the connector, put the screws back in, and snap on the plastic cover. And that's it. Uh, putting it on is actually a lot easier than taking it off. And it's not that big a job. And then you'll have your HP Mini back and running again. Okay, uh, thank you very much and good luck.